Welcome to Spring Arbor University Chapel, a bi-weekly gathering of the students and staff of Spring Arbor University. This gathering is sometimes used as a recognition ceremony for athletes and students who have proven to be exceptional in their particular field. Also, chapel is sometimes used as a platform for the students to display their many talents and skills. But Spring Arbor University's Monday and Wednesday mornings are mostly used as a time of worship. Each chapel service comes complete with a speaker who shares their story or a piece of the gospel that they believe will have a positive impact on the students. I want to welcome our guests, Also, each our chapel service students. begins with a time of worship with a few songs from the Spring Arbor University Chapel Band. To be able to, as a, a, a community, to, uh, to uh, focus uh, as a unified body on, on praising God and, 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 and working at uh, at, at worshiping beautifully, faithfully, and truthfully. Uh, you know, it's something that uh, takes time to practice as a I, community. Chapel's really been my church throughout college just because I've been going weekends, different places, so this has kind of been my community to worship with, my church. So that's really what Chapel and Chapel Band has been, just kind of my, my church away from home to, to serve in. That's not really a building of a church, you know. It's really just been a big joy. Other than waking up at 7 in the morning to practice twice a week, it's really been um, one of the biggest blessings I've had on this campus. I've had just a great experience, really all four years, but especially my freshman year coming in and seeing just a, a worship band that you could tell, like they were great on stage, they sounded fantastic, but they, you could tell that they actually kind of lived out what they were, what what they were all about on stage. It's been just a fantastic experience and I'd do, you know, do it all over again if I fail classes. Jaworski, don't fail me about me, I would hate that. I'd never really been in like this type of music setting before. I grew up in choir and stuff like that and singing, but never like in a, in a worship setting like this with a band this good. So it really, really exposed me and just really showed how talented the people on this campus are. There's no other place where this can happen where all these people get together, all the people you live with, all your friends, just come together and just worship and for an hour take everything out, put everything aside for an hour and just worship and it's really, really cool. When I transferred into Spring Arbor as a sophomore, uh, I, I really enjoyed chapel because it was the first time I'd been able to worship um, with that many people and I learned how to worship at college really in, in some capacity, I guess we're always growing. but. Being able to be in chapel band and being in it for two years and being asked to play was a huge blessing because I don't consider myself a very good guitarist and so chapel bands allowed me to grow as a musician and grow as a guitarist. Um, but also as a worshiper I've learned that it's all about the heart. I want to have a chapel program that sort of speaks to community. That's why I love having the Towns for Christ Chapel. You know, how often does a student get the chance to perform in front of a thousand people, you know, and have students, you know, rise up and cheer when somebody does the Rubik's Cube in chapel? That's, that's what community is all about, and caring about each other, knowing each other, and being with each other. But then I also want to get speakers who can come in and, and, and speak to students about their lives in Christ and, and have it be something that's applicable. At chapel, at Spring Arbor Chapel, in, in student satisfaction surveys, chapel is one, if not the most popular thing on campus. So you take that conglomeration of a thousand students with all the issues, all the different places spiritually, relationally, you name it, put them in one place at 10 o'clock on Monday and Wednesday and expect that to succeed? It's almost like you've got to be kidding. That's like a, a prescription for failure. And yet, I, I, I trust that if students feel as though that we value their lives and what's going on in their lives and we're dedicated to them, that they'll come to a time like this and not see it as a requirement, but as a stream in the desert, a time in which they might just be able to even just rest, but just to come and, and out of the storm of their soul to find a couple hours in the week that they can just be with their peers and connect with the Lord and worship and maybe God would speak to their lives. All kinds of things are required in our lives. That's what life is about. But you look beyond it and say, you know, is this, an, is this a moment where God can speak to my life? 
Is this a moment where I can speak to God? That's what I want chapel to be.